Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody's staying cool or, or warm if it's winter where you are. Um, although those of you that get, that get winter when, ugh, sorry, I'm falling off my chair. Um, those of you that get winter during summertime in the Northern Hemisphere, you don't always have as cold of a winter as the northern, right? There's not as many uh, countries that are closer to the, the, the South Pole, right? Just asking. Okay. I'm going to stop jiggling the table. So uh, this is a menagerie of a video because I haven't seen you guys in a week. I will catch you up on, on, on my week. <laughs> um, and then it's a show and tell uh, because I just released a new course today. F finally, after, you know, three months of uh, filming and editing and it's, it's wow. Wow. So, so that finally got listed today. So, um, I will show you the promo trailer for it and I'll show you um, some papers that we did in the class and, and that kind of thing. And I figured while we were flipping through some stuff, we could talk about the whole Etsy thing. And because uh, a lot of you we were saying, well, just leave Etsy and make your own website. Just do it. and. That sounds great. I've done, I've had my own website before. I've actually built a website or two in my time. And as great as that sounds, it's not as simple as hanging a shingle on a website. And let, let me, let me explain. Um, for a business that sells something like, um, maybe like gemstone jewelry, like, you know, higher cost items, um, maybe lower volume because they are a high cost item. Um, it may be feasible for that kind of a business to be able to get your ducks in a proverbial row and organize, um, I'm going to start flipping and organize uh, collecting sales tax, VAT, um, you know, there's registering with the states or the countries involved. Um, there's collecting the taxes, even on digitals. And then there's remitting those funds to each state, the EU, and then other countries on a quarterly basis. Let me let that sink in. And every year, more and more and more and more states are adding the online sales tax, the uh, even on digitals. So that is a huge job. That is a huge job. So think about for somebody that sells either like supplies. So maybe they sell lots of small inexpensive things. Well, it's like, you know, you sell a, you know, you have a listing for $2 or, you know, whatever, and you ship it off. Every single one of those little $2, $3, all of that is taxed. Each one of those has to be taken from the funds, the, the tax collected, taken from the funds, separated, organized out to whatever state, country, etc. it goes, and then remitted every three months. So I ask you, um, you know, if, if let's say somebody has a, the volume where they're, maybe they're selling, you know, 2000 listings a month. Could you imagine? Could you Imagine. So Etsy has built into their website, um, seller tools, you know, the tax man is built in and you can, you can utilize that tool. 
which saves me a bunch of time. I, I cannot lie, it is a bunch of time. Um, if I go out and make my own website, look how pretty. It's a non pare. Isn't that pretty? It's all tiny and teeny and tiny. Oh, it's so cute. And then this one is like it. It's called a French curl. So pretty. So these are all the ones that I've been slipping through. These are the ones that we're doing in the class. Um, some of these are in the promo video. So um, we do we do this one, but it's but it's this one. I mean, it's the same pattern, but this is just one with different colors. And I think I put it in the stack because either it was in the promo video or something. Anyway, a a anyway. <laughs> Oh, let me show you this one, which is the same pattern as that one, just different colors. But that is called over marbling or ghost marbling. Do you see the gold, the lacy gold uh, overlay? Yeah, we do that too. And then look at this guy. Oh my goodness, look at it, so pretty. So vibrant. We do the Spanish wave, teach that. You may have seen this one on Instagram. And then we also do textiles. So there are three advanced techniques that I teach along with some fundamentals to build on, because that's what marbling is. You learn a pattern and then you build on that pattern. So, um, in, in, the, in the class, the uh, advanced techniques are the over marbling or ghost marbling with, you know, like this gold, the textile marbling, and then the um, Spanish wave method of making these little like 3D ripples. So that's at the, those are the, the last three segments in the, in the course videos. Um, for those who would like to um, stick their toe in the deep end. But isn't this pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? This is the one that I actually do in class. This, this is the one in the video segment. This one has some lighter colors and no purple. This is another one I did that same day. The fabric is a little different. It's a little heavier, a little rougher of a fabric. And this one is a thinner uh, like quilting cotton. So, but I mean that it's beautiful. It's just, it looks like the paper. So, okay. So let me, let me just sneak in here and this, and I'm going to show you why, if I can get them all, why it took so long to get this class filmed and edited. So over the course of filming this class, I, 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 I marbled all of these papers and the stack I just showed you. So I counted them because I was curious. And there are over 125 papers marbled. And where there was two, because sometimes I will um, make a tray, you know, I make a design in the marbling tank and then I will lay down you know, two pieces of paper instead of one, but I only counted these as one because it came off of one, one design off of one tray. Yeah, so it took a minute. It just, it, it, and then, and then, um, like there was this one day and it was, um, oh, it was last week and le last week was crazy. Um, where I, I, it was right before I got sick, and I'll, I'll tell you that about that in a second. And I filmed for over half a day. We're talking into early afternoon, and something happened to the card, and it was corrupted, and I lost everything. That whole day is just gone. So there's papers in here that I filmed them, but I don't know where the video went. It, it must have ended up in, you know, I don't even, I just don't even know. Mm -mm. Okay, that's just juice, by the way. No vodka. Um, so these were some other papers <laughs> that I did. 
the same day that I was um, doing the Spanish wave and I did several. I just love this technique. Man, when you get it down, just some beautiful, beautiful 3D ripply looking. Mm -mm -mm. Just so pretty. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, okay, so back to my, my tax, I, I, which I realize is stressful because you guys know me, you know, when tax season comes, I, I go curl up in a fetal position in the corner for a couple of weeks before I can even, wow. So that's, I've always been like that. that, that, that will never, ever, ever change. That's the way I've always been. So, um. Pretty. So that's the thing is that a business like mine that has a lot of small, um, lower cost, higher volume products, the, just the, just the task of, of knowing what states have, you know, what percentage of tax, because if you have your own if you have your own website and you got to plug all that in, it doesn't, it collects it for you, but then it doesn't like organize it and send it off like Etsy does. No, 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 no. You just tell it how much tax to charge somebody from wherever and it charges that tax. And then you are responsible to siphon those out of the regular funds and remit those to each and every municipality and country. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. So this was actually marbled on purple paper just to emphasize the purple, but gorgeous. And then I marbled on some, um, you know, ledger paper, like old ledger paper. Um, Colette, hi Colette. I think Colette sent me this piece of paper and I marbled on this, on this side. I even did a Spanish wave. Isn't that cool? This might become a digi. Well, there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of digis coming out of all this because there was a lot of cool stuff that happened. These are book pages. So anyway, um, just that makes my, makes my brain hurt. It just, it literally just makes me want to throw up. So that's why it is not quite so simple just to go hang a shingle somewhere. Um, I have been doing research and so far um, I have yet to find a platform that um, has that kind of an option in it uh, for taxes. Isn't that pretty? This was, these were all Spanish wave that I did. And this was an old, uh, just some sheet music I had. And it's not super old. I think it's from the, I don't know, early, early forties, mid, late thirties. It's accordion music. <laughs> I got it at Goodwill. I got a whole stack of accordion sheet music, but look how beautiful that is. This, and this paper, like, I didn't even have to prepare it like you usually have to prepare. Sometimes the old paper just, just sucks it right up. And I love the old vintage colors. The old, um, you know, the earth tone colors are just exquisite to me. So, that is my sob story. Um... I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I personally do not have the time nor the resources to tackle something like that on myself every quarter. I mean, I just have to hire somebody like all the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't even know. I don't have any, any idea what that would cost. It just, I, I have no idea. I guess I should look into that. I do have some, I do have some, what do they say? Irons in the fire, some ideas that probably, you know, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, uh, tweak some things and 
but I'll do it. I'll get through it. <laughs> I will do it. But like I said before in the last video, um, my customers aren't going to see a difference anyway because I'm not going to I'm not going to do the do the free shipping thing cuz it doesn't need it cuz it's a digital. <laughs> but anyway, you you guys know what I mean. Um but I'm just trying to be smart about it. And um this one's called a candle flame. I do this one in the promo video. And I'm trying to be smart about it and not make a knee jerk reaction and then like, you know, hate myself because of it, you know, you know, you, you know. And then this one was on an old piece of just a loose piece of sheet music I had from a songbook somewhere. There's that candle flame again. So anyway, that is, that's, that's my, that's my thing. So. If any of you have, um, if you know of platforms that have that in it where it, you know, collects taxes and remits it for you, hit me up. Let me know. Um, there's another alternative that I'm, I've already, I had already started it. So this may push me to go ahead and finish with, with, with that. So. Uh, I'll let I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. This one's kind of cool looking. This was one of the ones that the the video got lost forever in in nowhere land. Now all of these papers are not wonderful. There are duds in here. Um, there were a couple of pieces where I was tired, and I. I printed the the design on the wrong side of the paper that did not have the um, the mordant added so that the paint would stick. So that happened um, a couple of times. And then like this one was just kind of like this is just a this is just a hot mess. I don't even know what, I don't even have any idea what happened there. This one too. Just just a hot mess. I mean it's fine, whatever, but it's just it's a hot mess. So last week, um, you guys saw the Etsy T uh, video on Monday, um, and I I had told you guys oh like a couple weeks before that I was going to have to have some some dental surgery, which I did. So the week before, I had had a a molar removed. So one of the the big one in the back, one of the big ones in the back. It had broken. It already had had a root canal could not be saved and I, it had to be, it had to be surgically extracted. So I had that done the week before. Well, Monday night, which was the evening of, after I posted the, um, Etsy T video, this one's ghost marbled as well. Um, the gauze packing that they put in, um, when they, when they take a tooth out, they pack it with like medicine and gauze and stuff. Well, it comes out, you know, it, it's not supposed to stay there forever. So that came loose because all my stitches dissolved away and that came loose. And so I threw it away and um, how bright that is. It's like a, like seizure inducing. Um, within, I'm going to say 15 minutes of, of throwing that gauze packing away, I was in the most excruciating pain and let me tell you, ladies, you guys know pain. M men have a sense of pain. Some of them have felt real pain, but I know the ladies know what real pain is. And when I tell you that this pain registered a nine on the one to 10 scale, you know I'm not kidding around because it was that bad. And so the next day I called the next morning, as soon as they opened, I called the surgeon's office and he's like, yeah, 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 it's going to hurt. I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. Well, this is the thing. So when you get your, your, you know, a tooth removed, they give you pain medication. 
This one was weird looking too. Look at this one. They give you pain med like prescription pain medication. So he had offered to prescribe me. It's it's Vicodin is what it is. And this one's ghost marbled too. Very, very barely. Um so when he when he told me he was going to prescribe some pain medication, I ask, well, what is it that you prescribe? And he told me it was, it was Vicodin. And I said, well, I said, if that's what you prescribe, then, you know, don't bother because you might as well just give me a bottle of baby aspirin. It, it doesn't work on me. It's ineffective. And he was like, so, so you don't want pain medication? And I was like, well, yeah, I want pain medication, but if that's what you prescribe, if there's no other alternative, I'll just have to suffer with Advil, I guess, because that's the only thing that actually works as far as I know so far that that that's it that's all I know even like the prescription there we go <laughs> the prescription you know realm of medicine it's ju I just it just doesn't work it just it's maddening it just makes me sick it just makes me ill but it doesn't take the pain away. So it's like, it not only does it not take the pain away, but it makes me throw up. So, you know, and it's not like it makes me throw up right away. So it's like, it doesn't have a chance to work. No, 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 no. It's like two hours later, <laughs> it's had a chance. It lost its chance. It just does, it's just not working. So he goes, oh, he's looking at me like, you gotta be kidding me, right? And I'm like, well, dude, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I it doesn't work. And he's like, okay. So he told me when I called him when I was in pain, he's like, well, that's what the pain medication's for. I'm like, I know the pain medication that I don't have because it doesn't work. <sighs> so there's another one of the flame pattern. So for um, Tuesday and Wednesday of last week, I was incapacitated because of the pain. Um, that's a Chevron. Tuesday evening, it was so intense that I, I almost went to the emergency room because I was, I just couldn't, it was, it was like nearly unbearable. And I was, and I thought if it gets any worse, I, I don't know what I, I won't be able to stand it. It's, it was just a tears, just stream. I couldn't help it. I was just in so much pain and nothing was, nothing was working. And so I'm assuming that I developed a dry socket is what I'm assuming. Um, so anyway, I did not go to the ER, although I probably should have. Um, on Wednesday, it was maybe 2% better, but it was like it was getting better. So I was like, okay, okay, we're getting, we're getting better. But it, it was like the pain was so bad, I would sit up and, and then I would just get violently nauseous just because the pain was just that intense. Um, this one's kind of cool. So by Thursday, um, I could sit up and walk around without immediately throwing up, which is, I think that's progress. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's progress. I was still in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. See, like this is a mess up. The, um, the marbling bath was super, super old and super, super used, and it just starts to get contaminated so it gets all these funny little artifacty looking, you know, some of it looks perfect and then some of it, you know, gets choppy. Um, so each day I got just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit better. And today is the first day since a week ago that I don't have a raging headache and um, I don't feel nauseous today. Yes. Oh, it's the little things. It's the little things. Um, this is one that I printed on the wrong side. You can see how it kind of, it almost washed away. Mm -hmm. This one is super funky weird. It's kind of like a zebra. And then I did the Spanish wave. 
technique. So it's like this cool, I don't know, I really like this paper. And it's really simple, but. So anyway, that is my sob story. And that is why I have not seen you guys and, you know, been doing any YouTube or anything because I was just, I was just trying to, you know, I was just trying to breathe and live and, and uh, get, you know, get through the pain. Just trying to, you know, whew. you guys know, you guys know. Um, I was talking to, uh, I told my students last night, some of my students in the, in the class, in the Facebook groups. And um, um, I saw some on my phone because I just went to bed. I'm just, I'm just exhausted. After you fight pain for a week, you're just, you're just, there's like nothing left. You're just, you know, spent. I just went to bed, but I saw on my phone that there's, there were people saying, oh my God, a dry socket. There is nothing worse. There is nothing worse. I know. I concur. And that one cool. Very, very simple, but so pretty. But anyway, I am feeling better. I'm not going to die. Apparently I felt like it. I kind of wanted to, you know, you get to the point where you just like, all right, I'm done. I'm done. I just, you know, I'm just, you know, take me out and back and shoot me because I'm done. I'm flinging stuff all over the place. It's about to fall off the, this is another one I printed on the wrong side. It got all washed away almost. <sighs> but anyway, that is the, um, that's the update. And I will put the, um, the promo video right after this. So if you want to see the, um, promo video for the class, it's really short. There's no words. It's just, it's just video with a little bit of music. Um, but I wanted to catch you up on the class and I also wanted to um, also catch you up on the whole Etsy thing and why I'm not just, you know, jumping ship. Um, yeah. And it's a big thing to me. It might not be a big thing to you. Maybe you love doing taxes. Maybe that just, you know, that just puts the fire in your pants. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't, I just, you know, I pay my taxes, but I don't want to do like the, the, the stuff. Just, just, you know, tell me, tell me what to write a check and send it off. I, I, I don't want to do the math. I don't want to do the paperwork and collect and collate and separate and just shoot me now. Just literally just shoot me now. Um, I know some people love it. Um, it's a deal breaker for me. <laughs> I have, you know, it's like, I, I already need three clones. Um, the amount of hours I work a week and the, the workload I have just on me, um, that I, I can't, I can't even imagine adding that monumental task to my workload. It just, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Okay. I'm going to put the promo video in here. Um, thank you all for joining me for this really long rambly video, but at least you had, you know, some, some eye candy to look at, right? At least there was something, something pretty to, you know, look at. So I hope you enjoyed the, the slideshow <laughs> while I was yammering on about, you know, wisdom, not wisdom teeth, molars and dry sockets and pain and, you know, and then taxes. I mean, what's better? What's better than pain and taxes? I tell you, there's not much better than pain and taxes, you know. All right, guys, big, huge love to all of you. And if anybody has any questions about the class, uh, feel free to message me at Etsy or you can even message through Teachable. There's a free class on Teachable um, at my school if you follow the link. If you don't know how to use an online school, I have a free class. It doesn't cost anything to um, make an account and sign up um, for the free class. And you can check out the website and see if, if it's for you. Because you might love paper marbling, but you might hate online schools. So that's why the free class is there. It's for people to try it out to see if that's going to be something that they, that they will, they will benefit from and get the free class. So check it out. If, if you don't know, I'm gonna let you go. I'll see you guys later.